Hi Julie, happy Monday. Uh, as you can see, I got wall decals, finally, for my background, so I hope you like them. It says, dream. I just want to thank you for all the awesome book recommendations. I'll be sure to check them out and or illegally steal them from the internet. So, thanks. So it's Monday. I hope you had a good weekend. I had a pretty good weekend. You know why I had a good weekend? This. It's adorable. It was only one dollar at Hot Topic. And to show you why it's awesome, look. Look at all the very cute monsters on them. I'm going to bring this to work with me so that I am never thirsty again. So Julie, um, you asked me about the Zodiac thing. Here's the thing about the Zodiac story. When it first broke, I knew nothing about what was going on. All of a sudden people were freaking out and I didn't know why. So I researched it a little bit. Basically what had happened was last week an astronomer basically said the Earth's axis has tilted so much from when the Zodiac was first created by the Babylonians long, long time ago that what they thought were the signs are actually a little askew. I was born in Aries. According to this, I'm actually a Pisces because of the way the Earth's tilt. There are people saying that, oh my gosh, this makes perfect sense. There are other people, like many astrologists, that are saying it's totally bogus and you are the sign you were born into. <sighs> Julie, here's the thing. My birthday is March 23rd, 1988. According to the worldwide astrology community, I am by all means an Aries. However, I don't know if you know this, but Aries are adventurous, energetic, pioneering, courageous, enthusiastic, confident, dynamic, quick-witted, selfish, quick-tempered, impulsive, impatient, foolhardy, and daredevils. I can be selfish sometimes, I can definitely be impatient sometimes, I, I feel dynamic most of the time actually. I feel like I can pick and choose some of those. I don't think they ever fit my personality. Aries are supposed to be, you know, taking life by the horns and leader of the pack and all those other cliche sayings that you can think of. But to be perfectly honest, I never really felt like an Aries. They like action, they like coming in first, they like challenges and championing adversity. They're really spontaneous. And, you know, I like action, but I like to take it slow most of the time, so I don't really know how this describes me. I don't really feel like it does at all, actually. Pisces, on the other hand, are imaginative, sensitive, compassionate, kind, unworldly, intuitive, sympathetic. They're also escapist, idealistic, secretive, weak-willed, and easily led. Now, I feel like all those things jumbled together, they describe me. I feel like that's Pisces, that's me. I feel like a Pisces 100% of the time. Pisces like solitude, they like to get lost, they like to lose themselves in themselves, they like to keep their distances because that's how they grow and they think of new ideas and Julia I just feel like that's me and according to this astronomer that apparently got everybody up in their business about astrology last week I feel like he might be onto something I feel like a Pisces a lot of the time now I don't know if I just feel like this because of this new finding or if it had something to do with when I was born I was nine pounds five ounces Sorry, Mom. And I was late, needless to say. I um, was a big baby. My mom said that her due date was the 18th. The 21st is the beginning of the month of Aries. I feel like I should have been born before then. I was a big baby and I was late. I feel like I consider myself a Pisces. So this guy might be on something. I know everyone else is saying, oh, you know, don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He might... He might know what he's talking about because just look at me. I don't feel like a ram. I feel like a fish. <laughs> you were born a Virgo. I want to know, do you ever feel like a Leo? So yeah, I hope you had a good weekend. Get back to me on that Leo thing. Honestly, you remind me of a Leo sometimes. And I will talk to you on Wednesday. Bye.